Hey tennis fans, I'm Armin with Tennis Express. I have the privilege of talking with the Bryan brothers today. Mike and Bob, what are your goals for this season? What are you looking forward to? Yeah, we're looking forward to you know the slams. We uh, we want to do well at the French this year. Uh, it's been, that was our first slam we won back in 03, and so uh, we'd like to maybe get that one again. Uh, yeah, so right now we're, we're just gearing everything toward the French, and uh, then obviously we're excited for Wimbledon. And uh, yeah, the slams are what keeps us, uh, you know, working hard and, and trained to try to win those. And uh, and then we want to try to qualify, get back in the World Group for Davis Cup, and uh, have a just a great consistent season and finish number one again. Guys, how do you string your rackets? I know everybody has questions of how the pros strings their rackets. How do you guys string yours? Uh, yeah, we. Uh, Luxlon's kind of, it's changed the game. Uh, everyone's using it. Uh, yeah, some guys, most guys use the Luxlon in, in the main. In the main, and that bring that gives you a lot of bite and control. You can really swing through the ball and it'll, it'll come down. We like a little bit more feel and power with the gut in the main. And, uh, I go, I go Luxlon. So do you and yeah. Federer do the same? Very nice. Yeah, Federer's going uh, the gut. Yeah, but... Um, we use the Timo Luxlon, which is the thinner gauge. has a little bit more give and feel. Um, Fetters, I know, using the, the spin or the, the rough. Uh, the, there's, there's different, yeah, is it rough? Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I tried that. I, I, was, I wanted to try to be like Fetters, so I'm like, I'm going to use the exact same combination he did. I liked it, but uh, Timo, Timo's good. We, so we, we love Timo. Yeah, I do the opposite. Yeah, we used the uh, Speedport Black racket, and that was a really powerful racket uh, for a couple of years. So we are using the thicker uh, Luxlon, the, the rub. I think it was a 16 gauge, and uh, just trying to bring the ball down. But now we're using a, a, like a, a thinner, a thinner beam, so we're trying to get more power. And what is your motivation? What keeps you motivated to go on court every day? We just love what we're doing. Um, you know, we we get excited to, to practice and work hard and. Um, you know, realize that you know we only have a finite amount of years to, to keep playing, and, and uh, we cherish what we're what we're doing. We I think we have the best jobs in the world. Um, you know, it's exciting. Um, we go to some great spots, and uh, we love the rush of winning. Uh, we hate losing, so we uh, we just try to avoid that feeling as much as possible. And uh, you know, we set goals at the beginning of the year, and we just try to go get them. Uh, Mike and Bob, my last question for you is, where was the most hostile venue that you played a Davis Cup tie at? Uh, probably the toughest Davis Cup was, uh, I would say, Serbia. This one was, uh, the last one we just played over there was, was brutal. They uh, seemed like they were kind of negative toward the Americans. Uh, they had the anti-American sentiment. Uh, I guess we just bombed them a couple of years ago. Uh, right across from the hotel was a place where we, um, there was a huge crater. I guess we dropped a couple smart bombs because they attacked our embassy, so there's still bad feelings over that. I uh, so the crowd, was, the crowd was pretty nasty. They'd whistle after, you know, you miss first serve, and they had a red army of, um, like, kind of like, we have the net heads, but they had just an army of them that were so loud. They were banging these sticks together, and so it was pretty deafening. And I think um, well, there's one comment from an American fan. Um, I think it was Mr. McEnroe said to Djokovic, like, what do you say? Violation. Time violation. And the crowd just came down on, on him. Um, yeah, so it, it was pretty hostile over there. Uh, we played in you know, in Spain. We played in front of 27,000. But that's more of kind of a you know, jovial uh, soccer crowd. You know, they're just trying to, they're just cheering loud. But they, they're not like, boo, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. Well, that wraps it up for us today. Uh, please be sure to click on the video and leave a comment on YouTube. And make sure to join our Tennis Express YouTube channel. We'll see you next time. Visit us online at tennisexpress.com.